Welcome. This is where I talk about comic books. Since starting the channel, I've wondered, what's my value proposition, right? What can I offer uh, you, the viewer, that you're not getting elsewhere? Uh, how can I distinguish myself in whatever way? And it's tough because I'm not going to be the hot take guy. Frankly, I just don't have the energy to be warring with people all day over opinions. Uh, I can't be the craft guy because those people's videos take forever. The history guys uh, are likewise uh, very heavily researched. Uh, there's a lot of prep. I have comics to write. Uh, I like doing these videos, but they can't be the center of my creative life. So <clears throat> uh, what can I offer in these short videos that might be of value to you might make me stand out. There are other pros on YouTube, certainly. Uh, though not as many as you would hope, uh, I think a lot of pros keep their comics opinions and knowledge close to the vest, either because they're afraid of embarrassing themselves or afraid of getting into some type of trouble. It's just not worth it in a lot of ways, and I'm I'm certain that I will learn that lesson firsthand. Uh, but I thought that maybe being very honest and conversational might be a niche <laughs> as as strange as that sounds um so it's in that spirit that today i wanted to talk to you about a topic that i see approached from a ton of different angles on social media on youtube but never from the practical and that is uh race in comics and there's all types of conversations on what is representation? Uh, there's an argument about overrepresentation, underrepresentation, uh, the intent, right? And we end up in these dorm room conversations where it, it, things become hypothetical and academic. A lot of times those conversations have no utility for those of us that actually m make the books. I wanted to talk to creators with this video, but I also wanted to ask the opinion of, of readers, how much should race play a part in your narrative. Maybe you're coming from a literary background and you think the answer is easy. It's whatever the story demands. But here's the reality of direct market comic books in the year 2023. You could swap races across the board and it would not actually matter. The reason I say that is because when was the last time you read a comic that was a meaningful exploration of what it means to be the character? I'm not talking about an, a faithful characterization. I'm not talking about, uh, a, in your view, a good characterization or a, an effective one. I mean, when was the last time you read a book where the race of the character truly mattered to who that character was. And I'm not talking about the superficial uh, bells and whistles that creators will, will put on uh, characters. Really, when was the last time that you felt that a character was informed in some meaningful way by their race? Now, if you're coming from, uh, you know, a, a, post-2010 grad school sort of uh, appeal to this, you could say that uh, all characters informed by race, uh, no matter how uh, small or unintentional, but let's be real here. When was the last time that if you could somehow read a comic without your eyes, that the race of the character would have changed anything for you? Would, ch would have changed anything for the narrative. I'll tell you, it's few and far between, and I read a lot of books. So knowing that m the majority of the time the race of the character is not actually germane to the story, is there an appropriate default? Is there a guidepost besides aesthetics at that point? And I think a lot of you may argue, well, yeah, representation. Okay. But... What about me? I trust that many of you have glanced at your screen, at least, while I'm talking, and noticed that 
I'm as white as tissue paper, and maybe, maybe as translucent too. When you talk about representation, do you want me to be the person who writes characters who represent minorities? Maybe it doesn't matter. As I just said, I don't think that we often explore characters deeply enough that really it does matter. Maybe I could just go with different races for every book that I write. And because these characters serve a purpose within a limited narrative and we do not get to spend enough time with their inner thoughts, maybe I could just spin a wheel, you know, a random number generator to see what race and ethnicity characters are. I'm not trying to be glib. I understand this is very serious to many of you. I'm, I'm just, I'm asking because recently I had the experience of writing a black character. I've done this several times, but in this case, the setting was such that if the character was white, it would have been quite jarring and unrealistic. So, makes sense. Black character, right? That book got the most interest, the, mo the most quickly, from Hollywood of anything I've ever done. Given the specifics, and I won't bore you with them, of how the book arrived at the talent agents, I think that the race of the character actually, in this case, played a big part in all that interest. So, would it be cynical on my part to chase that in some way, to write black characters all the time, knowing that, oh, hey, I can get an option on this, put the book into the black, no harm, no foul, because I'm also filling the world re with representation. Or, or is that cynical and disgusting? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? Do intentions matter? If I cynically make every character black because that's what's selling in Hollywood at this moment, and I know it'll make it easier to get things published, I know it'll make it th easier to get uh, some money after the fact, does that intention take away from the representation? And I just want to explore this a little further because it was a conversation I had with someone in Hollywood the other day. I was asking about this interest, right? Because I don't write for Hollywood and most of the information that I get is through my manager uh, in a half listening sort of fashion, no disrespect to him. But Hollywood is not why I got into comics. It's an extra revenue stream, you know, a uh, stream, depending on the book, <laughs> stream, stream B. Or, depending on the book, stream F, right? So it's, it's not at the front of my mind. I asked a question. If we think that the race of this character played a part in the quickness of this sale, in some way am I, am I hurting my, my potential sale to Hollywood if my characters are white or how many Filipinos do you see in Hollywood films? As leads, I would say none. So what if I write a Filipino character? Does it hurt those that potential sale? And listen, I'm sure that for comic writers who make Hollywood more of a focus, these are, these are real conversations that they have with themselves and their creative partners and their publishers. I'm just fascinated by it because what this Hollywood individual told me was, no, uh, you can make anyone white because white, you can swap out for another race. But if you commit to another race, you can't swap from that race to white. So let's say a producer reads your work and says, I've got a line to white guy X. Let's go with somebody who's not in trouble. Uh, who's big right now? Timothy Chalamet. Well, if the character in my book is white, that's fine. But if the character happens to be black, happens to be Filipino, then Timothy Chalamet will not be an option. However, if I write the character to look like Timothy Chalamet, then somehow Denzel Washington is still an option. Now, I don't want to get into the kind of the right or wrong of, of that. I don't think we're going to crack race relations in this uh, YouTube video. I'm just curious if you think that it should inform my writing. Currently, it doesn't at all. And that's not me covering my ass so you think I'm more legitimate. Uh, it just, 
you can ask the people that deal with me in Hollywood. I'm I'm relatively ambivalent towards this shit. But I just thought it was fascinating, right? It's it's a and it's a worthy conversation. Even if it goes nowhere, it's kind of a, a thing to explore is should race matter more in comics? Is there anything wrong with tailoring the cast of, of your comic to uh, a transmedia sale elsewhere? And are you tired of thinking about it? Maybe that's your answer. Maybe you go, Patrick, I don't get, please, I don't even like that you brought this up. <laughs> I don't know the answer to any of this, but I, I just found that this Hollywood conversation was really interesting to me personally because it made me start wondering how many of my peers are more tactical with these decisions than I am. I might just be this idiot floating through this career not thinking about the Hollywood aspect enough. And this might be a good example of that. Anyway, uh, one of those go nowhere, somewhat dorm room conversations. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, obviously, race is a sensitive topic for a lot of people, so don't be a fucking asshole in the comments. But just tell me first if you think that cynical representation still has a positive impact. I don't know. You know, <laughs> I could be convinced either way, I suppose. And I guess another question is, do you think that there is any value to me exploring the experience of other people's races in my work? And before you answer with, obviously, fuck no, Patrick, I would just like you to consider that what we do isn't about accuracy. It's about point of view, right? So the fact that something is perhaps completely erroneous doesn't mean that it's not a fascinating reading experience, right? Sometimes the most interesting work is completely off base, but in its inaccuracies, something is revealed about the writer's perspective, and there's something to gain there. You tell me. Uh, again, for myself, I'm going to continue to write characters just whatever seems appropriate in, for in the moment, whatever visually makes sense. I, and I'm going to continue not to worry about Hollywood. But interesting conversation, I think. I don't know.